heard about the Ender Dragon in Minecraft, right? Well, years ago, it was rumored that a bright red lava dragon was going to be added into Minecraft. But it wasn't. So I added it. And now I'm going to be turning into the lava dragon for the next 100 days. Will I be able to survive until day 100? Or will the three dragon hunters stop me from completing this challenge? Whoa, look at me. I'm a baby lava dragon. In fact, using our upgrade menu, we can see we're what's called a warm wormling. That's a fancy name for a lava dragon. And next, we can become a vent drake with 20 hearts. Because right now, we only have 10. And a real dragon would have like 50. But anyway, we do not have time to worry about that. Because there are three knights up there with squirt guns who are gonna try and prevent me from surviving until day 100 so with that let's get out of here the king and queen demand to be slain dragon oh god i can see water flying by they're shooting bubbles at me okay we gotta get out of here quick now i'm a lava dragon so if i go in water it is going to hurt so let's climb this hill real quick and let's get into this tree now we can get this wood safely okay they're right below me give them the bubble boys oh they got me with the bubble gun where'd he go okay grab this wood i think he went this way oh one's on me this way oh fly he's too fast thank god i have light this light is saving us okay we need to get out of this spot area but i need three woods so i can get in a boat get across the water nice oh they're hitting me with the squirt guns oh we need to go oh they're doing so much damage oh my god we need to get out of here he's jumping away okay with our jump we can definitely get to these trees over here and just get one more piece of wood and then we are out of here okay i see a tree literally right ahead come on climb a little better we just need to get behind this tree okay grab this one wood Oh God, Dude, I see he's them. across the river over there. Oh, God, they're coming. We have all the wood we need. Let's go over here, hide behind this tree, start by making a crafting table. Now let's make a boat. No! There we go. Now we can get out of here. Let's go this way. Jumping across. They're trying to shoot me. Down here. Nice. Up top. We can get out of here. Let's go. Yes, we are out of here. Freedom! Let's go. Okay, so we got away from the dragon hunters, but now we need to actually build a base. So I figured this little hidden spot up here will actually make for a good base. So let's leave these trees here to give us some cover, and let's quickly go grab some more wood. Now, normally, this is the point in the video where I go and I start making a base, because having a base makes doing these challenges way easier. But I'm not gonna lie. I kind of want to start working on my dragon upgrades first. In fact, what type of lava dragon doesn't have fire breath? So we're gonna go ahead and unlock his hot iron breath by killing two players sitting in lava for 10 seconds and getting 40 hostile mob kills so let's go ahead and let's grab some basic tools so that way we can start killing some mobs and sitting in lava make another crafting table now let's make ourselves a wooden pickaxe and let's bind into this wall right here now let's make a stone pickaxe and a stone sword okay we've got a little bit of coal now let's go find a cave somewhere and get ourselves some iron okay here's some iron okay now let's make ourselves a furnace and smelt up some of this iron now we make ourselves a shield and now it's gonna be super easy to get the 40 mob kills Just like that, we have all 40 mob kills we need. And now we're just gonna go sit in lava and get two kills on the hunters. And we will already have our fire breath unlocked. Okay, now that we have all the mob kills done, I honestly really need some food. I only have three hearts. And so if I sit in lava for 10 seconds, I'm dead. So let's go get some food so we can sit in lava and get back to full HP so we can take on the dragon hunters. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's start by cooking up all this food and getting ourselves back to full HP. Okay, so while our iron and our food cook, we gotta go burn ourselves in some lava. So let's start by grabbing ourselves a bucket of water for obvious safety reasons and now let's simply go step in some lava and do it for 10 seconds but also let's have some water right here nearby that can save me if i need it okay here we go let's hop in oh my god oh my god oh my god oh that was only two seconds this is gonna be a little bit harder than i thought okay let's eat some food get back up to full so let's hop back in one two oh if i had iron armor i think i would die slower okay let's get it up to eight seconds I really do not like doing this. Two more seconds, and then we're done with this. Okay, here we go. This should be it. Nine. Ten. Woo! Okay, we survived with a heart and a half, but we got all of the time sitting in lava, meaning all we need left to unlock fire breath is killing two of the dragon hunters, which I can definitely do. Okay, let's go kill two knights and unlock our fire breath. But obviously, first things first, we have to actually find the knights. So first, let's head back to spawn and see if they're still there. And if they're not there, well, then we're just gonna have to look everywhere until we find them. Okay, spawn's literally just right here. Okay, I don't see anyone at the spawn, so they may not actually be there anymore. Oh, no, they are there. I just saw one below the tower. I don't see any nameplates, though. Okay, we just need two kills. Let's just go in quick and get them ready. Straight to the point and behind you uh, behind you Jose, behind you behind takes you. forever to load oh i think he was afk fishing we got one we got one. Oh, there's one up there oh don't go up there let him come to you oh there's one down there i'm breaking the ladder oh okay one's on me i'm shielding let's go this way okay we're good we're good we're good come on oh no i had him he got shot with his own scorecard <laughs> save me oh my arrow i need that okay well i'm dead he's, gonna be, he's dead he's dead he's dead we got two kills we got the two kills oh use the tree as cover quick combat Oh, I got the fire breath. I got the fire breath. Oh my god, they're doing so much damage. When he comes up this hill, I'm gonna get him with the fire breath. 
Burn him! Yes! Okay, he's on fire. Run. Oh, I'm on fire! Oh, gosh! Don't worry, I'll put you out. No, that doesn't work. Oh. He burned. Oh, they're on my tail. We're getting away. Yes! We are gone! Oh my goodness! The fire breath was OP! Okay, so we have officially escaped. And we unlocked our breath ability that shoots fire out of our mouth. So yeah, I'd say that's pretty cool. Anyway, with that now unlocked, let's finally work on our first base so we can get a little more organized. After getting my first combat power unlocked, it was time to work on our first dragon base. Because having a base makes it super easy to organize my items and get the upgrades done in as fast a time as possible. Okay, it's day number 10 and welcome to our first lava dragon base. It's built into the side of a mountain, you know, because that's where dragons live, and I've made it kind of hidden, so that way it's really hard for anyone to find. Plus, it's all the way up here, so good luck getting to this base. Anyway, now that the base is done, let's work on our next upgrade, which is called Hone Scales. Now, with Hone Scales, it means I won't take any damage from lava or fire anymore. In fact, standing in lava and fire is actually just going to give me more energy to use more abilities. So, with that in mind, let's go ahead and let's unlock it. So, to get Hone Scales, we need 30 iron ingots, copper ingots, and 30 gold ingots. Now, right now, I think I actually have enough copper. I do. And I have enough iron. But I only have eight gold. And that is not enough. And to be honest, I don't really want to waste the iron I currently have. So let's go down to the mine shaft. And now let's go mine a bunch of this stuff. Oh my. Okay, look at this cave I just found. This is huge. Getting all the iron is definitely going to be doable in here. Okay, we've got all 30 iron that we need. So now we just need to collect 21 more gold. And we'll also be done with that. And then we'll pretty much have all the ores we need. While looking for gold, I literally just found an ancient city. Okay, we'll come back to this because I don't want to risk dying yet. We only need like four more gold. So let's get the gold first and get out of here. And we'll come back to loot this later. Now we have all 30 iron, 30 gold, and 30 copper at home. Meaning we can unlock home scales. Okay, so let's go smelt up this iron and gold. And smelt up the copper we have. Whoa! Whoa! Hold on, the hunters are in my base. Oh god, thank you. We're going down. Oh god, through. They get me through my shield. Hold on, I have an idea. Do I have blocks? I do, I do, I do. I can put blocks above me. Oh, I can't climb the ladder if that's there, actually. Oh, that actually worked. The blocks killed him. Diamonds. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Oops. That worked. I don't want them to shoot at me. Oh, they're coming down. Hold on. Eat some food. We're going to have to break up into my own base. I'm going to teach this guy a lesson. Hey, so I, I heard you're like fire. I heard you're like fire. He let me on fire. Okay, they're hitting me down. They're hitting me down. Oh, what? Nice. We killed another one. Oopsie. Okay, well. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened either. Oh, we got him, yes! Is that all of them? Oh, that's all three. Are they out of my base though? Okay, it looks like they may have taken some stuff, but overall, we actually did pretty good defending our base. Now, it kind of stinks that they know where our base is already because it's not even day 15 and they found our first base, but we can't worry about that. So let's go ahead, let's grab our copper. Now let's throw the iron in these two, the copper in these two, and the gold in these two. And now we'll wait for them to smell real quick. Okay, let's grab all our iron, copper, gold, and now we can unlock honed scales. Meaning now fire and lava don't hurt us. So they can't just attack me with a flint and steel. Okay, so let's go try this out. And now we step in some lava. You're gonna see it doesn't even hurt us. In fact, it gives us regeneration. So now lava is our friend. Okay, it's day 12. And my base has already been found, which is not good. Meaning I should probably already move from this base because it's gonna get destroyed at this rate. But we're gonna stay for a few more days because I want to see if I can unlock the next dragon upgrade first. As it only requires one lava bucket, nine flint and steel, and 32 blocks of coal. Which, doing some quick math, that's like 288 coal. But we'll worry about that in a sec. Let's start by grabbing the nine flint and steel in the lava bucket first, because that's super easy. First things first, let's grab a bucket. Let's also grab our nine flint, and we already have a flint and steel. So let's open our crafting table, and let's start by combining our nine flint with nine iron to get ourselves nine flint and steel. Now let's go down to the cave and fill this bucket with lava. And now we have a bucket of lava too, meaning all we need left is an absolute boatload of coal. So let's start mining the coal. This could take a little while. Okay, perfect. We have mined all the coal that we need, meaning now all we have to do is go back to the base. Okay, so now let's go turn all these coal into coal blocks, and then we'll be all set. So, oh, I see name. I see name. Oh, it's off TT. Oh, jeez. Oh, he's here. He's here. Light it. Get outside. Get outside. Enjoy. Bro. We're already back in my base. I got a lava bucket on me. I can regen. I can regen. I can regen. Okay, I got regen on. Now the fire doesn't hurt. Fire doesn't hurt me anymore, does it? Oh, God. I can't go in water for me. I get weakness two in water. Okay, my base is literally gone. Oh, no, there's nothing left. Grab this. There we go. Grab the regen. Nice, that should kill one. Oh! Uh, oh! I survived! Okay, let's go back over here. Okay, let's grab our food. Okay, we have weakness. We gotta get back in the lava. Give us our regen back. There we go. Oh, God, man. I don't even know if this is worth fighting. All my stuff's gone. It may not even be worth fighting here. Hold on. Let's climb this mountain. Nice, we got one. It's coming down. Oh, no, you don't! Shielded it. Nice. Whoa! 
He's gotta be almost dead. <laughs> nice, we got another one. Both two down. One more. Let's see if we can burn him with our breath. <laughs> nice, we burned him. We burned him with the breath while we were shielding. We survived. But our base definitely did not. It is not alive anymore. I even said this base was gonna be destroyed. I just didn't expect it to happen that quick. Dude, I don't even have a crafting table. Okay, well, let's quickly go down here real fast. Grab one piece of wood. And now make another crafting table. Put that here. And let's turn all of our coal into coal blocks. And just like that, we have the 32 blocks of coal we need. The nine flint and steel. And now all we have to do is grab a lava bucket. There we go. And now we can go from a baby lava dragon into a level two lava dragon. Not only do I have 20 hearts of HP, I also have speed one, strength one, and I'm also much bigger. I barely even fit down my mine shaft anymore. But the main reason the dragon upgrades are cool, you're gonna see that I can't just flap my wings once, but I can actually flap them twice. Once, twice. Which means I can move even faster and farther. Which is good, because I have to move really fast and far to find a new base. With my base destroyed already, I had to move to another base super early in this challenge. And so, I wasted five full days just moving and putting together a new basic base. Okay, so I went ahead and finished up a brand new base. And this time, the base is hidden super underground. So hopefully, the hunters don't find me. Anyway, the base is pretty simple. We got chest, furnaces, crafting tables. You name it, we got the basics. That's all we need. We're still pretty early in the challenge. And we still have tons of upgrades to go. So I didn't want to spend a bunch of time building a crazy base. Anyway, now it's time to work on our next upgrade, Fireball, which is also called Hakalugi and Fireball. I guess I get two abilities for this one. So the first ability, Fireball, is pretty straightforward. I shoot a Fireball. Crazy. But Hakalugi allows me to spit a block of lava that lasts for 10 seconds. So that's pretty cool. Now to actually unlock this ability, I need to complete three quests. First, I need to kill the four hunters while they're on fire. Second, I need to break a flint and steel. And third, I need to kill five gas. Now, lucky for me, I already have a flint and steel. So let's just quickly break it. There we go. Nice and simple. We broke a flint and steel. Now let's go take on gas in the nether with this bow right here. Now I don't think I actually have enough arrows to take on five gas, but we'll see. You know, if I wasn't a lava dragon, this would be a really difficult nether portal to work with. But lucky for me, I can simply just go to this island over there by jumping. See? Okay, now we just need to go ahead and find some gas. Come here, you. Nope. Oh, I missed. It bounced off. Oh, we got him. There we go. One of five gas down. Four to go. Dude, what an unlucky guy. Poor fella. Oh, God. There we go. We've killed all five ghasts that we need to kill. Now we just need four player kills while they're on fire. And we already unlocked our next combat upgrade. Okay, since we finished the flint and steel and the gas kills, all we have left to do is find the hunter's base and get the four kills we need. Now, last I knew they were at spawn, so we're going to head there first and check it out. On day 22, I looked for the hunters because they'd moved from spawn. Oh, I think I see their base. That's got to be it, right? Oh, dude, that is definitely their base. I literally just saw one inside. Oh, get down. I don't want them to see me yet. Okay, I see a bunch of them in that window. Let's go in now. Hello. Oh, dude, dude. Oh, oh, he sees me. I just need four kills with one of you on fire. Oh, there's water here. This is not going to help. I need to actually set them on fire with my fire breath and then kill them. Okay, here we go. Let's hide behind this. Ready? Get back here, dragon. We must slay you for the king and the queen. Dude, he has fire breath. Be careful. Here we go. We got one on him. I'm burning. Woo. Nice. We got him. This one. Two. Nice. We got two. Burn him. Thanks, we got three. We literally just need one more fire kill. This fire breath is broken. Ow, they're shooting me with the squirt guns. Burn this guy. Oh, no, he put himself out. Oh, we got him. Oh, my gosh. Dude, where you go? Yes, that's all four kills we needed. Get across this way. Eat some food. Now let's unlock the next upgrade, fireball. And let's try it out. Let's go to their base and teach it a lesson. Oh, dude. No, our base. Okay, I'd say this is a great way to teach their base a lesson. Hey guys, your base is on fire. That doesn't look too good. Oh, in fact, let's hop in the fire so we gain our energy back. I get rid of those chests. Dude, my robo dude! He's killing the villagers! Oh, gotta go this way. That doesn't look good, guys. Here, let's use Hakalugi on you. Oh, I gotta go oh, this <laughs> there we go. We got another one. And with that destruction out of the way, I'd say that's a good time to get out of here. Okay, now that we've unlocked Fireball and Hakalugi, which are, by the way, really broken, let's unlock the Flambe Chef, which basically means anything on fire that I hit automatically gets hit with a critical hit. And after I kill an enemy like that, I gain five seconds of saturation and energy, which sounds boring. But trust me, this is actually really broken. Now to unlock it, we need 20 cooked pork chops, steak, chicken, mutton, and 20 smokers. So let's start by making 20 smokers, since they can simply be crafted by making a furnace and surrounding it by 
four log. So let's grab a bunch of our cobblestone and let's go and let's make 20 furnaces. There we go. Now let's surround the furnaces with some logs and we'll get ourselves some smokers. Now let's just increase these to 20 each and we have the 20 smokers that we're gonna need. Now all we have to do is kill a bunch of animals to get their food and cook it. Pretty straightforward. Let's go murder some animals. Woo! <laughs> Okay, we officially have all the raw meat that we're gonna need for this upgrade. So now let's just go home and get it cooked. Okay, all the food is currently smelting. Now we just play the waiting game. Welcome to the official waiting game. That's right, this is actually a thing. We are playing a game. And if you wanna win the game, uh, all you gotta do is hit the like button and hit that subscribe button because I want new subscribers and I don't have many and I want more. You guys can really do something good and get me lots of subscribers. Oh, and also you should leave a comment about your favorite part about this video. Anyway, uh, that's the end of this bit, bye. Okay, cool, the food is done, let's grab it. And now let's unlock Flambe Chef. And let me show you what this does. If I go up to this skeleton up here and set him on fire and then I hit him, it's gonna automatically give me a critical hit. And because I did a critical hit, you're going to see I get saturation as well. So yeah, that's how the ability works. It's actually kind of OP. Okay, it's day 27. And I want to unlock the next combat upgrade called Vent. And this ability is basically going to make it so anyone near me gets shot into the sky and lands in a giant pool of fire. Okay, so to unlock this ability, I need the following. I need to kill six of the dragon hunters with my fireballs, ignite and explode 30 creepers, and use 500 energy. Once again, all pretty easy. So let's just go into our chest real quick, grab ourselves a flint and steel, and let's go set off some creepers real quick. Okay, if we just like this creeper with this flint and steel, we explode our first creeper. Now we just need to do that 29 more times. And there we go, we have all 30 creepers ignited and exploded. Okay, so now that we've exploded all the creepers, let's quickly use up 500 energy, and then we just need some fireball kills. To use 500 energy is pretty easy, I'm just gonna keep holding down fire. Okay, and luckily there's fire right here so I can stand in this to quickly get back our energy. So if I stand in fire and I shoot fire, this is an infinite trick. I can simply stand here and get to 500 energy. like that we've used 500 energy meaning all we have to do left is get six kills with fireballs and then we'll be all done so let's make our way back to the dragon hunter's base and let's go pay them a fiery visit okay their base is literally just up ahead oh they're still outside too i still see one sitting on the tree up above their base so i know they're still living there we need six kills with our fireball let's see if we can get up in this tree oh i fell oh my god they didn't see that okay we're still good now we just need to get some of them with the fireball like this guy Oh, he's here! He's here, and I'm freaking out, dude! We got him. He's backing off into the water. But he didn't see a fireball coming! Yes, we got him with the fireball! That's our first fireball kill. Now we just need to do that five more times. Oh, they're getting me with the squirt gun. That should get him to start coming up. Ready? We got him once. He's on fire. Oh, they're on me. Oh, that hurt. Swim! We gotta get out of the water. There we go. Go this way. Need some food. Okay, where'd they go? Bro, it's the second time I've been blown up. It was ridiculous. Nice, we got another one. Ooh, that hurts. Nice, we got another one. That's three. Oh, no. Oh, we got another one. That's four. Okay, there we go. He's dead. Got him. Nope, we didn't get him. Five, got him. In here? Oh, they're both in here. Oh, God. Ah! Everything's terrible. I'm just on fire. I'm dead. Yes, we got six. Okay, hold on. Now let's destroy their base. Okay, there we go. Ready? Here we go. No! <laughs> He's done. Okay, let's quickly go ahead and let's unlock our brand new ability. Now that we have everything done, let's unlock Vent. And let's use it to get away. As he gets close, I can use Vent. And now he's on fire. Okay, now let's run. Okay, we've unlocked our brand new ability, Vent. And I wanted to go ahead and try it out on this small private island just to show you guys what it does. So there's this chicken right here. And if I use Vent while right next to him, it's gonna send him flying in the sky and turn him into chicken nuggets. Okay, chicken friend, you gotta go. And just like that, the chicken is nuggets. And anything that was nearby me is definitely on fire. So anyway, now that we have vent, it's now time to work on lucky lava eggs, which is basically like a lucky block egg that'll give me a bunch of different random items. Now to actually unlock lucky lava eggs, I need 128 lapis lazuli, 32 eggs, and one turtle egg. So let's get to work. Ooh, names. No, they're literally right outside. The hunters are here. Oh, he sees you, he sees you. Oh, hold on. The hunters are literally here. I'm a dragon. Luckily, I fit in these tiny little gaps, which should help me defend this base. Oh, I tried to get him. He saw my spot. Oh, they're about to blow up the front. Oh, God. They're in the base. They're in the base. I got shot. I got shot. Oh, what? No. No. Oh, and he fell. Okay, that's good for me. I literally couldn't hit him. Oh, I can't hit anyone in water. Oh, because I'm in water. I have weakness. Oh. Go back in. 
No! Oh God, run, TT! Do we need some food? Oh God, okay, go up here. The base is destroyed. I'm gonna get out of here. I don't know what else to do. Oh yeah, I'm gonna get out of here. Oh, come on. Go. Okay, so I literally just watched that base blow up. I don't think anything's gonna be salvageable. I'm gonna give it some time. Wait for the hunters to leave and then go back because I kind of want my stuff. Okay, we're back at the base right now. We'll see what's left of it. I don't think there's gonna be much left based on the looks. Well, there's some stuff actually. Hold on. Okay, we got a bunch of stuff, but this base is definitely toast. So anyway, this time let's do something I've never actually done before. Normally when my bases get destroyed, I just build a new one. So instead this time while we're building the base, let's actually work on the lucky lava eggs upgrade and see if we can get it done so let's start by mining some lapis okay there we go we got all the lapis that we're gonna need so now let's get out of these caves and let's go find a spot to build a new base okay so i found the next spot that i want to go ahead and build my base and it's inside of this village right here but before we actually get building the base which i want to build inside of this cobblestone tower i want to go ahead and quickly gather a turtle egg because they could take a little while to find and i'd rather just get it over with now i saw a bunch of turtles earlier so i'm gonna go check out a bunch of those earlier coastal beaches and see if i can find more okay so i found the spot where i want to build my next survival base it's gonna be on this island right here because i can see in every direction so there isn't going to be any more sneak attacks anyway before we go ahead and actually start building the base on this island i want to start by locating a turtle egg because we need a turtle egg to get the lucky lava egg so let's quickly fly around from beach to beach so we can find some turtles that'll spawn some turtle eggs okay so this looks like the perfect place to start building our next base it's surrounded by water in every direction so i'll see anyone coming who tries to attack but anyway without further ado let's start digging out this base now i want this base to be in the side of a hill let's just go in the side over here and let's start hollowing an area out so I started digging out this spot just to realize I actually really don't like this spot. Mostly because I think it's too easy to get in. So let's just cover that back up and let's go find a different spot on the island to build. With my second base destroyed now too, I went ahead and decided to build a base super far away from spawn. So hopefully the hunters wouldn't destroy this one too. Okay, so welcome your faces to the brand new base. I put the base right here on the side of this beach. You simply step on these pressure plates and the doors open up. And then look, we're inside the base where we have our chests, our furnaces, our nether portal, and our enchanting table right here. And now that we got the base done, we can wrap up on lucky lava egg. We just need 32 eggs and a turtle egg. Now to find a turtle egg, all we need to do is find two turtles, breed them together with some seagrass, and then we just simply take the egg with silk touch. Then for the regular Minecraft eggs, it's pretty easy. We just need to run around and find chickens. So let's go ahead and let's start and get those turtle eggs first, because that's going to be a little bit trickier than the chicken eggs. Ooh, turtle spotted. Let's start by grabbing some seagrass with our shears, and that's going to give us the stuff we need to go ahead and start breeding some turtles. Okay, I found a turtle right here who is definitely interested in my seagrass and there seems to be another one over on the beach over here and these two are about to give me some eggs so you come over this way this way buddy oh yeah you're both interested aren't you one two there you go okay they did it they should start making eggs on this beach come on make some eggs there we go we got a turtle egg yes i did it the turtle egg is mine and now we just simply take a silk touch pick and now we officially have the turtle egg. Look at it. We did it. And now to finish up the upgrade, we just need 32 chicken eggs. But since it's nighttime, we'll worry about that tomorrow. Okay, day 41. All we need is some chicken egg. Let's get collecting. Okay, we've got all the eggs we need now. So now let's just go back to the base and let's unlock Lucky Lava Egg and let's open a few up. Okay, let's start by grabbing our turtle egg, grab our lapis, and now let's unlock the Lucky Lava Egg. When I use the ability, I'm going to get a random item in my inventory. So let's use it. Oh, it spawned an egg. Oh, I guess I got to actually break the egg. Oh, there we go. I just right click it. And I got a piece of cooked mutton. That was it. Let's spawn a few more. Okay, let's right click these. Oh, maybe it's a time thing. Wait for him to hatch. Oh, we got a bunch of stuff. We got two buried treasure chests, a diamond ore. Oh my God, that's good. Let's check out these hidden shipwrecks. Oh, we got a heart of the sea. Oh my God, that was so easy to get some ore. We got two of them, not even just one of them. That's amazing. Well, as you can see, the lucky lava eggs is a super useful ability. I could place a million of these things if I wanted to. And now that we have this unlocked, I think it's time to become a level three dragon with 30 total hearts of HP, strength two, speed two, and my dragon can now fly. L like permanently, not like this flapping thing I Okay, so to actually unlock it, I need 16 blocks of gold, 64 magma blocks, and 128 soul sand. So it's time to head to the nether and get ourselves some gold blocks. Oh, well, that's convenient. We already found a nether fortress. Okay, we found a nether fortress, but we need a bastion. We'll just keep looking around the nether till we find one. There's gotta be one around here somewhere. Oh, I see a bastion. There we go. We found one. And I see a gold block. Let's go. Ah, there it is. There we go. Oh, I see a chest. Let's see what this guy has. Uh, nothing. Nothing good. Okay, let's check out these chests. Okay, no gold blocks. No gold blocks again, but another silk touch pick. Okay, I found the room with the blocks that kind of look like faces. Now, underneath here, we should be able to find gold blocks. Booyah, it works every time. 
Okay, there we go. We got a bunch of gold blocks. In fact, we have 13 in total. So we just gotta go home and craft three more. Now let's throw the raw gold in the blast furnace so it can quickly smelt up. There we go. That's all the gold we need. Now let's go ahead and let's turn all these into gold blocks. And we have 16 blocks of gold. Okay, now that we've gotten all of the gold blocks out of the way, all we need left is some magma blocks and some soul sand. We'll be done with this upgrade. Here we go. Okay, I've officially got all the magma I need. Now let's just grab 128 soul sand. Uh, let's go get a shovel, actually. Okay, now we've got all the soul sand. So now let's just go home and turn into a level three lava dragon. Okay, so let's go from a level two lava dragon into a level three lava dragon, which should give us the ability to fly, which like, thank goodness, because I'm a dragon. I'd really like to fly. Okay, so let's unlock it. There we go, level three dragon. I'm now much darker red like lava, and I'm even starting to grow some horns on my head. That's kind of cool. Anyway, let's go and let's try our new fly ability. So just like that, you can see I can now fly as if I'm in creative mode. And now I feel like a real dragon, because look at this, I'm flying. Now this flight should only Last for about 15 seconds. Yep, there it goes. So not only does our dragon now have flight, but you're also gonna notice we have speed two and strength two permanently. Meaning the hunters are gonna have a real hard time taking on this lava dragon now. Okay, there is only six more upgrades to go till we are a max level dragon. We have the level four dragon called Magma Mauler, the level five dragon called the Lord of Volcanoes, the level four combat ability called Blaze Commander, the level five combat ability called Eruption, and finally we have the level four utility upgrade Dragon Claws and the level five utility, the Boeing B-52 carrier dragon which yes this dragon is going to turn into a bomber but this is kind of where the upgrades start to get really difficult to unlock so let's work on dragon claws as an example for that upgrade i'm gonna need a netherite pickaxe a netherite shovel a netherite axe and a netherite sword just to do the upgrade on top of that i also need four goat horns and five god apples what the heck that's so hard to unlock but whatever we gotta do it so let's do it and let's start by looking for an ancient city because that's the easiest way to find god apples on day 46 i still simply looked for an ancient city, but I didn't find one. Oh, oh God, we're in an ancient city. I found one once again at below an ice mountain. We can luckily fly, which is gonna make navigating this ancient city pretty easy. So let's just go ahead and open this. Nice, and a music disc. Okay, now what I wanted, we're looking for five God apples, and uh, I didn't see a single one there, but these chests do tend to spawn them, so we just gotta keep looking. Okay, let's check this chest. Oh God, more XP bottles, but still nothing. Run. Okay, so far, so not good. We haven't got a single God apple yet. Okay, this one's actually completely safe to open. Let's go, we got a God apple, we got a God apple. Let's go. We got another one. Three to go. Oh, run. Oh, gosh. We're going to spawn a warden. Yep, I heard a warden spawn. Okay, a warden just spawned. Okay, a warden just spawned. We're going to have to do everything in our power to avoid that guy. Oh, there's a god apple in here. Just a god. What? Let me know in the comments below if you knew there was a single chest that spawned right up here that just has a golden apple in it. I legit had no idea. Is there one on the other side? No. Okay, well, we just need two more god apples and we're all set. So let's check this chest here. No god apple. Okay, we got two right here, but we're definitely going to summon a warden if we use this. So let's just hope this has a golden apple somewhere. One. No. This definitely will. And there's nothing in there. Go! Run! There's another warden. Okay, let's just keep looking. We literally just need a couple more god apples. Please do the trick. Yes, we got one. Oh, good. Okay, so another warden just spawned. This is fun. But we only need one more god apple. I just need one more. Come on. Oh, geez. Another one. There is so many wardens walking around right now. And all we need to do is find one god apple. We already looted this area. Nothing. Nothing. Okay, so far so good. We just need to find one more god apple, which we are really struggling to do. Dang it. Oh, hello, Mr. Ward. Oh, is he gonna shoot me? We got the god apple. I found a god apple. Go, 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 go. Get away from him. Oh, God, he's coming in quick. Oh, he's coming in quick. Oh, he hit me. Okay, we need to go this way. Quick, quick, quick. We need to get out of here. Okay, perfect. I found a way out of here. Let's go. We got all the golden apples. We dodged all those wardens. And now we can simply go on home. Okay, now that we have all the god apples, we now have to find a way to get goat horn. Now, in general, goat horns are actually pretty easy to get. First things first, we simply grab our iron pick with silk touch. And we're just going to mine a bunch of stone. Okay, and now I have two stacks of stone, which is gonna make getting goat horns 10 times easier. And if you don't know how to get goat horns, I'm gonna quickly show you. So the first step is to go ahead and find a big snow mountain like this, because this is where goats are gonna go ahead and spawn. There's one here, and there's even one all the way up here. Next, we gotta go ahead and actually build a spot to get goat horn. Okay, and now you see I've built this little stone structure here, and the goal is to get a goat to launch itself at me while I'm in that structure. So while all these goats hop around, this is gonna be the perfect place to grab. So I'm gonna go ahead and stand in here and stand completely still, because that's what attracts the goats to attack you for whatever reason. We're gonna go ahead and put another stone wall right over here, just in case the goats are feeling a little antsy. Oh, 
Oh, they attacked me while I was breaking snow. I was still setting up, you dumb goats. I was literally just about to do that too because I saw you guys getting weirdly aggro on me. Okay, let's build another wall right here just to be safe. Now, luckily, I can fly. So the second they come at me, I'm just gonna take off. Okay, we got two goats nearby here. This could be good. Attack me, goats. Come on. <laughs> Don't push me. That's cheating. I have to stay still. You're cheating. <laughs> Dude, what the heck? What a jerk. Oh, what the heck? I didn't see that one coming. I was looking at this one. I thought he was coming for me. Yes, we got one. We got a goat horn. We got Sing. Okay, let's see what else we get. Let's go back over here. Let's do it again. Oh, I missed. I whiffed it. Yes, we got two. Okay, so we now have this one. Okay, we just need two more. There we go, we got a third goat horn. Okay, we literally just need one more goat horn. Come on, get angry. Yes, no, I whiffed it. Yes, oh, we got it. Oh, we did it a second after the baby zombie. Let's go. And we officially have sing, seek, feel, and sing again. That's four goat horns, which is all we need for dragon claws. Meaning all we need left is some netherite gear and we'll have another upgrade done. Okay, now that we have the four goat horns, we literally just need a netherite pickaxe, netherite shovel, netherite axe, and netherite sword to finish up this upgrade. So let's put the horns in here for safekeeping. Now let's make our way to the nether and get ourselves 16 ancient debris so we can get all those netherite tools. Let's find a good spot to start our strip mine. Okay, I found a place that we can start strip mining. So now let's just begin looking for some ancient debris. Okay, we officially have all 16 ancient debris that we need. So now let's just go back to the base and make ourselves some tools. Okay, let's start by putting our ancient debris inside the blast furnace so it can smelt real quick. Let's also grab a bunch more of our gold and get that smelting. Let's grab the two diamonds we have in this chest and the six we have in here. And let's make all the tools that we're gonna need. We're gonna need a netherite shovel, a netherite axe, a netherite pickaxe, and a netherite sword. So let's grab all our netherite scrap and let's combine that with our gold to get ourselves four netherite ingots, which we can combine inside this table to get ourselves the netherite sword, netherite pickaxe, netherite axe, and netherite shovel we need. Meaning if I grab my five god apples and my four horns, I can unlock the dragon claw ability, which you know I'm gonna do. And now I've officially gotten a pair of dragon claws that gives me the ability to permanently mine like I have netherite tools. So I'd say dragon claw is pretty OP, but that's not what makes it broken. You see, what makes the dragon claw really broken is I can actually pick entities up with it. So this creeper, I can right click him and oh, God, that didn't work. Let's try a sheep instead. So if I go ahead and I right click the sheep, you're gonna see I can pick the sheep up with my dragon claw and I can, well, I'll throw him into the water you go I believe I can fly. so yeah as a dragon i just got even stronger i can pick the sheep up in my hand while flying and then really send them off anyway enough messing with sheep we get the idea i have a dragon claw ability okay with the dragon claws in hand it's now time to work on the blaze commander upgrade we just need eight kills in the nether we need to ride a strider for 30 seconds and we need to break 10 mob spawners none of which is that hard since i already know where a bunch of mob spawners are so let's start there let's go back to our first base and head down to the cave system where i know where a bunch of mob spawners are here's the first one there's two Okay, that's the seven mob spawners that I already knew about. But we still need three more. And it's gonna be easiest to go after blaze spawners and stuff in the nether. So let's go to the nether and get the rest of the spawners we need. Okay, so let's make our way to the nether and find ourselves some more mob spawners. And while we're in the nether, we might as well ride a strider as well, which we can do simply by right clicking one with a saddle and riding it. So let's grab our saddle from our chest and let's do all this stuff in the nether. Okay, Mr. Strider, please put this on your back and let me hop on top. There we go. Now we're just gonna ride your head until that counter in the middle reaches 30. Okay, we went ahead and rode him for 30 seconds and now we're all set on that. So all we gotta do now is find and break three mob spawners, which should be pretty easy. Let's just go up here into this nether fortress and let's break this one here. Oh, looks like we have another one down this hallway. Break this one here. Here we go. Here's another one. And there we go. Ah! Okay, we've officially broken 10 spawners and we've ridden a strider for 30 seconds, meaning all we have to do left is get eight kills on the hunters inside of the nether and this upgrade will be complete. So I figured it's time to make our way to our friend's base again because I'm assuming that they move bases since I kind of blew up their last one with a bunch of fireballs. But let's go double check just to make sure. Yeah, I'd say they definitely left this base. I mean, they haven't even repaired it. They've abandoned this one through and through. So since they moved from this base, we gotta find their new base. So let's go ahead and let's get looking for it because I doubt they moved too far. Now I just need to get some kills on the hunters in the nether and I would have yet another upgrade complete. However, the hard part was actually gonna be getting the hunters into the nether. I have a plan, but if it doesn't work, I really don't know what to do. I see glowstone. Oh, and there's a destroyed island over here. I may have just found their base. Look at it. Yeah, 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 yeah. This should do. Let's get inside. Oh, they're shooting me. Hold on. We're in. Yes. Let's go. We're in. Okay, eat some food. And now we just have to fight them in the nether because our kills in the overworld 
Well, don't count. I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. I'm out of here. Oh, he's trying to go to the nether. I'll join you. Okay, one of them literally just went this way. Oh, you're done. No, please. I'm dead. Yes, there we go. That's one kill. Now the other one should be here soon. Why, hello. And there we go. That's two. Okay, we just gotta keep getting kills like that. There we go. That's three. We are destroying them. Okay. Wait, what was that? The end? Wait, what? I found it. I found it. I'm going for nice, the ender. Nice. Wait, that's why there's only two of them here. One of them's literally entering the end while I'm fighting them. Wait, what? Oh, we got him. Nice. Okay, one of them is literally entering the end as I fight the other two. Now, I actually need the dragon egg to become a level five dragon. Oh, he's back. Nice. There we go. That's six. That's seven. Come on, get him before the other one comes. No, I need to get him before the other one shows up. Yes, there we go. We got him. Let's run this way. I actually know where this fortress is. So we'll just say goodbye to our friends and let's go ahead to our nether portal because we need to hurry back to our base because with one of them already in the end, they're going to take the dragon kill from me and take the dragon egg, preventing me from becoming a max level lava dragon. Okay, it's day 60 and we have to hurry up and get to the end because I saw one of the hunters was there and they're definitely doing that because for my final combat upgrade, I need to kill the ender dragon and for the level five lava dragon upgrade. Grade, we need the dragon egg. So, because they're already at the end, they're already getting that stuff. Meaning they're trying to prevent me from actually getting it. So, let's hurry to the end. That is, after I show you off our brand new Blaze Commander ability. So, if I hit number seven on my keyboard, you're gonna see I spawn a giant Blaze Commander. Now, this guy actually looks like the Blaze Commander that they were gonna add into the Minecraft years ago, but he lost the mob vote in Minecraft Live. So, he wasn't added. Just like the Lava Dragon wasn't added into the game. Anyway, yeah, this Blaze Commander will fight anything that attacks me, but we don't need it right now, so we can go Away. Anyway, we gotta get going to the end. So let's go to the nether portal and let's start by grabbing some blaze rods. Okay, now we just have to kill some blazes for their blaze rods. Okay, I've got eight blaze rods in my inventory. Now we just need some ender pearls. So let's grab a bunch of gold blocks over at this bastion over here and start trading with these piglins. There we go. We got an absolute boatload of them trapped inside there. Perfect. We'll come back for you guys to trade later. Okay, there's no gold blocks in this one. Okay, let's go check over here. Okay, we got two gold blocks in this one, an iron block and an ancient debris. Okay, another iron block and ancient debris. Okay, I couldn't find enough gold blocks inside of this bastion. So let's go ahead to another one and see if we can find more gold blocks there. Okay, here's some more gold blocks at this bastion. Okay, they give us 18 blocks of gold, which should definitely be enough. So let's go with let's trap a bunch of these guys in a hole. Okay, let's throw a bunch of gold in this hole now, and that should start attracting a bunch of these piglins to all go in there and start trading. Come on. All the piglins are done trading. As we can see, I have 18 total ender pearls, which is more than enough. So with all that in mind, let's start making our way back to the base. So that way we can start heading to the end and hopefully stop them from killing the dragon. Okay, so we're back home and we have everything we need to go to the end. So let's grab our ender pearls, and now let's combine those ender pearls with our blaze rods to go ahead and make ourselves 16 eyes of ender. Now, before we actually go to the end and take on the dragon, there's a chance the dragon's already been killed by my friends. So, in case we have to respawn it, let's grab four end crystals. So, we're gonna need basically four more eyes of ender. So, let's quickly go through our portal, get four blaze rods. Okay, that's all the blaze rods we need. Now, just go grab a couple more ender pearls. Okay, get trading. There's more gold. Oh, I see ender pearls. They dropped some. Yes! How many we get? Six. That's enough. That's all we need. Now, let's go kill some gas for some gas tears real quick. And there we go. We have all the gas tiers we need. Now just go on home and make some end crystals. Now if we go ahead and take our glass and combine it like this, put our gas tiers at the bottom like this, and our eyes of ender in the middle like this, we're going to go ahead and make ourselves four end crystals, which gives us 18 eyes of ender to get us to the end portal. Now that we have the four end crystals in hand as backup, let's make our way to the end. Okay, it's literally going to be right below us somewhere. I just threw the eye and it turned around. So it's literally got to be somewhere in between here and like could be as far back as that desert. Boom, right here. We got it. It's right down here. We've got the spot. Let's start digging down we are in let's go now we just gotta find the portal room oh we found it we found it we found it okay we made it to the end let's go now we just gotta go take on the dragon oh someone has definitely been here before the dragon's already dead the dragon egg's gone and the dragon's already dead okay well that's a problem but luckily i saw this coming and brought some end crystals so all we have to do is put one of the crystals right there one of the crystals right there one of the crystals right there and the final one right here and now we're going to resummon the ender dragon there he is okay let's do it let's start by taking out all this healing towers and now all we gotta do is kill the dragon there we go dragon's done and we got our ender dragon kill okay so it looks like the egg does not respawn so uh i guess we're gonna have to steal the egg back from the hunters now normally from here i would go to the outer end through one of these portals get some elytra and the dragon head but it actually turns out that none of my upgrades require anything from the outer end meaning we're already all set to leave the end let's go move on okay well that's kind of annoying it turns out that they have the dragon egg and are probably hiding it somewhere which does explain why the hunters haven't attacked in a while i guess they're waiting for me to come 
come to them to steal that egg back. But whatever, we'll worry about that later. For now, we only have four more upgrades to go. So we have the last utility upgrade, the last combat upgrade, and we still have two more levels of Lava Dragon. Level four and level five. So let's go ahead, let's unlock the level four Lava Dragon, since all we need is 15 Phantom Membrane, 30 Magma Cream, and 60 Slime Ball. So let's start by going to the Nether and getting ourselves some Magma Cream. Here we go. This is a Bastion that should have a Magma Cube spawner. Now let's go ahead and let's put some Cobblestone down. Now we just kill them and get their Magma Cream. Okay, we officially have all 30 magma cream that we need. Let's go back to the base. Okay, now it's currently still nighttime out at the base. So with the magma cream in hand, we literally just need to grab some slime balls and phantom membranes. So I'm not gonna go to sleep tonight because obviously I need to get insomnia and make some of these phantoms start to spawn. So let's go and let's make our way to a swamp and start gathering some slime balls instead. Okay, perfect. Here's a swamp. Now we just gotta go ahead and start waiting for some slimes to spawn in. Oh, I see a slime. Slime spotted. Hello, little guy. Okay, it looks like the sun is starting to rise, and I don't really see any more slimes. But we went and got 40 slime balls, but we needed 60 slime balls. Oh, slime! Hold up. Okay, never mind. We got 50 total slime balls, and we needed 60, so we just need 10 more. But no more are obviously going to spawn because it's now daytime. So let's make our way back to the base, and then tonight we'll start killing some phantoms on top of killing some slimes. On day 66 and 67, I simply kept destroying a bunch of slimes and phantoms to get all the items I needed for a level 4 lava dragon. Okay, we officially have everything we need to turn into the level 4 lava dragon. So let's go ahead and let's spend our phantom membranes, magma cube, and slime balls. And now we are an even bigger dragon. And now you're going to notice we also have whiskers on our face and bigger horns. And that's because we're even stronger. We have speed three, strength three. And now instead of only being able to fly for 15 seconds, my flight time is now 30 full seconds, which is a lot longer of time. You're also going to notice that I now have double wings. So I had to double it. <laughs> which is making my dragon fly even faster. So yeah, I'd say my lava dragon's getting pretty OP. And I'm starting to think I might be just OP enough to actually go get my dragon egg back. Because I haven't seen the hunters in a while, and it's because they're just camping with my dragon egg. Because they know I need it to become a level 5 dragon. But that's whatever. It's fine. I'm just gonna take them out my way. And my way is starting by getting some totems of undying. Because we need totems of undying to become the lord of volcanoes anyway. So let's start gathering up some sugar cane, glass panes, compasses, and emeralds. So that way we can get a map and make our way to a woodland mansion. Okay, let's grab some sugar cane. And we need about two stacks of sugar cane in total. But luckily inside of a desert that should be pretty easy to come across. Okay, there we go. That's all the sugar cane we need. Now let's think of a bunch of sand that we can use for glass panes. And there we go. That should do. We already have the emeralds and other items we need at home. So let's get heading home and let's put everything together that we're going to need to get a woodland mansion map. Okay, it's day number 69. I have the glass currently smelting inside of these furnaces. And we're going to turn all of this glass into glass panes. So we simply take this, put it in our crafting table like this. And that's going to get us 48 glass panes. And we need two stacks, so that's not enough. So we'll let it smelt for a sec longer. Okay, that should be enough glass. So we throw it in like this. And there we go. We now have two stacks of glass panes. And that is everything we legit need. Now let's go make our way to a village. That way we can trade for the woodland mansion map okay here we go this village will do let's grab our cartography table okay now we're gonna go ahead and trade this guy all of our paper for his emeralds and that's gonna level him up all the way to novice okay now he's an apprentice now we trade him our glass panes there we go now he should become the next thing and then we can just simply trade him for the woodland explorer map which we'll grab one of those and now we simply put this in our hand and because we have a compass we can see where that tiny dot in the upper right hand corner meaning i need to head southwest which is in uh this direction let's go after getting the map i would have to fly over 12,000 blocks just to reach the woodland mansion. Oh, I see the right biome. I think we're getting really close. Yeah, yeah. The map's generating. We're in. Finally, dude. That was so far away. How far are we? Okay. Well, at least we're here. Now we need to get three totems of undying from inside this mansion. Okay. We just got to find one of those guys that summons the vexes. <coughs> nice. We got him. That's one totem. Nice. That's two totems. <coughs> Nice, we got the third totem of undying. Okay, we can technically get out of here. But let's see how many more totems are in here before we go. Okay, the rest of the woodland mansion appeared empty. But we got four totems of undying from that mansion, which is all we need. So now let's go on home. Oh, Hunter at the base. Hunter at the base. Oh, I see him. I see him. He's coming in. He's coming in right now. Okay, we need to grab him. We need to grab him. Let's grab him. Ready? We got him. Let's throw him straight in the air. What is he doing? Let me go. No, I placed it. No. Nice. Okay, we killed one. Oh, yeah, they're in the base. There's two more in the base. I just heard an explosion. Where's the other one? Oh, he's destroying it. He's destroying it. 
Okay, we killed one. Oh god, they're destroying. Oh my no no no. That's gonna just kill him. That's gonna kill him. Yep, he killed himself. Oh dude, no. Okay, hold on, hold on. Some of the stuff is still over there. Okay, I went in, grabbed as much stuff from the base as I could, but this base is definitely toast. I stored some of the stuff in chests, but it's still gonna be a pain to make a new base. So let's get it over with now. Let's move to a new space. Let's store all these items and let's design a new base. So my base was destroyed again, which is kind of annoying, but also I'm kind of okay with it. You see, that old base was getting a bit small, so I needed something a bit more open anyway. And so I I started building the dragon base 4.0. Welcome to the brand new lava dragon base. I have built a base on top of an ice mountain that is meant to look like a lava dragon's nest. And now that we have our own lava dragon nest with chests, furnaces, enchanters, and well, everything we need really to survive at this point, there's literally only a few things we need left. So while we were building the base, we were able to get all the ancient debris we needed to make all the enchanted netherite armor to become the Lord of Volcanoes. So let's grab our netherite ingots and let's go in our chest right here and grab our diamonds. Now let's go and let's make ourselves a pair of regular diamond armor. Now if we bring it over to the smithing table, we can combine this with the netherite ingots to start making netherite armor. And now that we have the netherite armor, we just need to bring it over here to the enchanter and quickly give it all protection one. And just like that, we officially have all four enchanted netherite pieces that we need for Lord of Volcano. We also have all the totems right here, meaning all we need left is the dragon egg, which was stolen from us, meaning it's time to steal our dragon egg back. So let's go find our friend's base and let's go pay them a visit. It's time to steal our dragon egg back. The hunter's took it from the dragon days ago, and I need it. Now, we have a rule on the server that says they can't simply destroy the dragon egg. That's cheating. However, they can literally hide it anywhere in their base, meaning I need to head there and steal that egg back. What is that? I see something weird over there. I may have just found the hunter's base. <gasps> yeah, it's them, it's them, it's them. Okay, so we found their base. It's literally just over this sand hill, but I also realized I forgot food. So let's quickly spawn in a bunch of lucky eggs and wait for them to open, and hopefully they just give us some food, because I believe they can give us food, because we're gonna need food for this fight. There we go. Okay, we're slowly getting some food, but we're gonna need a little bit more than that. So let's open up a few more. There we go. We got an absolute boatload of stuff. I was not expecting this much stuff. Okay, let's start by opening up these buried treasures. I believe there should be fish inside. There we go. There's some cooked fish. Okay, we were able to get three TNT and a bunch of other stuff. So let's go have some fun at their base. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, you come with me. Okay, let's get rid of you for a sec. Oh, I dropped him. Hey, no, no, no. You are not. No, 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 no. Ah! Fine, I'll pick you up then. You're coming with me. Oh, they're eating golden apples. Every if they shoot me, I dropped them. Hold on. Ow! You know, I'm here for the dragon egg. We gotta find the dragon egg anyway. In fact, let's go and let's spawn them a friend. Have a donkey. Okay, let's see what else. Let's spawn a drowned in there and a pig. Oh, we killed one. Let's go and let's drink a water breathing potion. Yeah, their beds are down below. So if I go down here, I bet you I can find whatever's hidden. Oh, they have several layers. Okay, that's not gonna work. Let's check out their base. Okay, I don't see a dragon egg in there. Ooh, diamonds. I'll take that steak too. Actually, there we go. Now we get some food. Okay, I don't see the dragon egg in there, meaning it's gotta be below or something. Oh, we killed all three. No. Oh dude. my God. He just destroyed us. Come on, get it down there. Come on, just three more. Yes, we're down there. Nice, we got him. He's running. He broke our beds. I didn't even notice. Nice, this is our chance. Open this. I see the dragon egg. It's literally right here. Oh, he's dropping TNT. I gotta be careful. I gotta be really careful. Let's kill him real quick so he doesn't blow up the egg. I don't want him to destroy it. Let's destroy this torch. There we go. He's dead. Ah! No. Now we just have to break this obsidian under the egg. There it is. I see it. Yes, we got the dragon egg, which means we have everything to become a level five lava dragon. Let's go. And with that, let's head on home. With three totems, full netherite enchanted armor, and a dragon egg, we can now spend those items to become the Lord of Volcanoes, which is a massive purple dragon with these crazy giant wings, 50 total hearts of HP, and I can officially fly forever. There is now no cooldown on how long I can fly. But as cool as this dragon is, I'm still not done. You see, I still have to unlock the B-52 carrier dragon and the eruption dragon abilities. Now, to get those two things, I still need to kill two more players, kill a wither, kill a warden, get 128 TNT, 32 diamonds, and a nether star. So let's go fly into the nether and let's start taking on some wither skeleton skulls. Okay, we're at another fortress. Now we just have to go ahead and kill a bunch of wither skeletons so that way we can spawn in a wither. There we go, we've got all the wither skeleton skulls that we need. Now let's quickly just grab some soul sand. And now let's go back to the overworld and let's fight the wither. Okay, let's go ahead, let's put down soul sand right there. And now the wither's spawning in, which we'll be able to take out nice and easy with our diamond sword. And the wither is 
Perfect, there we go, we got the nether star. Okay, and just like that, that battle is over. We have won and beaten the wither. And now, since we still have plenty of time left in the day, let's go back to the ice mountain, let's go underground, let's go to an ancient city, summon a warden, so we can get our warden kill. Okay, so I'm back at my first base, because underneath this base, we found an ancient city earlier. So let's go back down to it, summon a warden, and kill it off real quick. Oh, we found it, here we go, ancient city. Okay, now we just have to summon a warden, which will be pretty easy. There we go, that should definitely summon the warden. Let's go way over here, and there he is. Okay, the warden summoned. Now we just have to actually beat him in a fight. This is the hard part, but uh, let's get to it. Okay, let's just start shooting with our arrows. We beat the warden, let's go. Okay, with the warden killed, now we can head back home. Okay, it is day 88, and with the warden dead and the wither dead, we literally just need two more player kills. Then we get the final combat upgrade, Eruption. Now for the final utility upgrade, I still need a bunch of TNT and diamonds, so I figured I might as well go attack the hunters, since they're likely to have both some diamonds and some TNT. Let's go see if they're still at their other base, which they may not be, because I kind of destroyed the other one pretty bad and destroyed their beds. Okay, yeah, their base definitely still looks destroyed, so I'm guessing they're not here anymore. So let's go find their new base. Is that waterfall not legit? Oh, it's it's not legit. Three beds right in the side of the mountain. I knew that waterfall looked odd. Can I ask you about your guys' extended warranty? In fact, hey, I don't, that is rude. Oh, he picked me up. Get off this mountain. Oh no, he made me drop him. Someone's going flying. <laughs> okay, there we go. Someone went flying. You get out of here. Go. You join your friend. No way, dude, it, it MLG bucketed in the leaves. Now, what have we learned? We don't attack the big spooky dragon. Okay, guy, whoa, whoa, chill. I am just, you know what? That's it. Get them, blazes. Okay, while they deal with the blazes, let's quickly steal from their chest and see what they have. Oh my God, tons of arrows. I'll take those. Ooh, tons of diamonds, tons of food. Ah, okay, fine, 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 I'll chill. Okay, I went ahead and stole a bunch of TNT from them and I stole a bunch of diamonds, which luckily we need to bolt those things. Now, let's just go ahead and get one more kill real quick. Nice, we got him. There we go. That's the last kill we needed. We got all the kills we need. We stole TNT and we stole diamonds. So let's go ahead and let's get out of here because that's everything we needed. Okay, with that battle finished, we can officially unlock a ton of upgrades. First, let's go ahead and let's unlock Eruption, which is our last combat upgrade. Then let's go ahead and go to our last utility upgrade and let's unlock that as well. And now that we have all our abilities unlocked, let me show you what a max level dragon can do. So we know about my basic ability, but since then we've gotten even more strong. Most importantly is our last few upgrades. We were able to summon blaze commanders that'll fight for us. Our latest two were able to erupt, literally, like this, and anything near us gets attacked and sent flying. See, look at this. We are erupting in every single direction. So on top of causing the apocalypse and doing all that, we have one final ability to showcase, and that is the B-52 carrier dragon, which literally says, drop a nuclear bomb. Let's drop a nuclear bomb on these cows. Oh, it's a literal nuke. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, I'd say that was a nuke. And with those upgrades unlocked, we are officially a max strength lava dragon. Okay, so now that we're a fully upgraded dragon with all our abilities, I want to start working on getting the best possible gear I can. So as an example, my bow is only power three and I want to see if I can get an even better bow. So like this one right here, you can see I now have a power three punch one bow, which is slightly better. And normally I'd want to keep working on upgrades, but I just saw the hunters are here. So we'll worry about these in a sec. Let me just get rid of these guys. Oh, there's two we're up there. Oh, they're watering my base. Let's give them a bunch of distractions to deal with. That's it. I'm grabbing one of them. Oh, I can't. All of the water. I can't do it. I can't grab them. And I don't want to destroy my base. So I have an idea. You come with me. Oh, now they're fighting me over here. This is exactly what I needed. Okay, we got one of them. Dude, he just destroyed me. What's that going to do? Now you're going to burn in lava. Oh, gosh. Two down and one to go. And there we go. So I'm still in it, guys. Wait, look, you're still there? I'm dead. Just like that, they're all dead. And my base, well, uh, pretty much came out unscathed. That's how strong a max level lava dragon is. After defeating the hunters on day 91, I knew they would be back soon for revenge. You see, with only a few more days till this challenge is over, I knew they're gonna bring out their strongest weapons for a final battle. But what I didn't see coming was their final weapon that they brought was a warden. Okay, so let's name our bow Dragon's Breath. And that way, if they die to the bow, it's gonna say they died to Dragon's Breath. What is that noise? Oh, I got darkness. There's a warden. Oh, it's in my base. He's fighting the warden? We definitely gotta get up there. Surprise! Then. Surprise, oh, Ryan! Where did that come from? Oh, oh, hunters! I gotta get rid of that warden. Oh, wait, they're spawning a wither! Oh, jeez! 
I killed the warden. Okay, warden's dead. All my whole base is destroyed. You know what? I, I gotta keep the base up. I'm gonna use the nuke ability. Here we go. Oh, oh my god. Okay, the wither died. I got the wither, but they're still alive. And I have three hearts. Oh my goodness. Let's drop another nuke. Yeah, might as well, right? Let's get... Oh my god. Okay, we blew them up. We blew them up. They're coming from down my water area. Okay, let's do eruption. We can juggle them all the way in the sky. Ready? We are just sending him flying. And he can't do anything. Dude, I'm being trapped in the air. No. There he goes. And he's dead. Oh, we sent him so far. I got an idea. Let's grab one of them. Ready? No, he picked Kill me him. up again. He's still alive. That's it. We're going to get rid of him this time for sure. He's got to fight all my blaze commanders. And there we go. He's dead. Dude, just kill me. Just kill me. Let's go attack the rest of them up at my base. Let's go find their beds and get rid of their beds. It seems like they built into the side of the mountain. So I'm going to have to go pretty deep into the mountain here. Wait a minute. We can nuke our way down the water path. Hold on. I have an idea. There we go. This will be the easiest way to get down. Wait, if I just nuke down the hatch, that could destroy their beds. There we go. It worked. I nuked to the bottom and now I can just sink down. We got to break out of here. Just ignore them. In fact, nuke. Oh, that worked. And there's their beds. We're free. Oh, God. He found the bed. Let's get rid of your beds. And now let's get rid of you. He's all the way down there, huh? We sent him flying. He caught the water. Okay, we're good. We're good. Blaze commander just got one. Let's see where he spawns. There he is. I see him over there. Okay, he's dead. Nuked! This way, this way, this way. <laughs> oh, it's over for me, bro. Oh. And only one more to go. In fact, I want to kill him in the, my favorite way possible. Let's grab him. There we go. Let's chuck him. You know what? I'm nuking him. He's getting annoying. Nuke! You got this, bro. <laughs> now, where is your bed? Wait, he left the game. Oh, wait, they're all leaving the game. Wait, what? Wait, why are you leaving? You're unkillable. Yeah, you got a nuke, dude. <laughs> wait, you're quitting because the nuke? Yeah, because you got a you gotta nuke that kills. Well, you are here. They quit, which means the dragon wins. Which means, can I survive 100 days as a lava dragon? Yes. Yes, I can. Ooh.